Interventions with a King. Discussion and commentary based on articles from Jack, Cardiovascular Interventions. This is David Moliterno from the University of Kentucky and one of the associate editors for Jack Cardiovascular Interventions. Today we have with us Patrick Gladding from Auckland City Hospital uh, in New Zealand, and Patrick is going to talk to us about an interesting study that he's recently completed and some of the data from that study. Thanks, David. Uh, we did a study in elective PCI patients. We took 60 patients and we loaded them with clopidogrel. Um, roughly 30 of the people received the usual dose, 600 milligrams of clopidogrel on the, on the table, and the other roughly 30 received 1,200 milligrams split two hours apart, so 600 plus 600. And what we found was that um, the group that got the higher dose had quite a significantly higher platelet inhibition at the end of about seven hours, which is the maximal period you'd expect a higher response. Sure, and, and why did you choose 1,200? Is it just because somebody hadn't been that far yet dosing-wise? <laughs> well, we, we, th we were more interested in splitting the dose. Um, it seems that if you give a single dose, there's a maximum effect that you can't break through, and it's been shown before that studies looking at uh, doses above 600 milligrams haven't given a higher dose, so higher effect, sorry. So um, I figured that if we gave it as a split dose, that would actually uh, give us a higher platelet inhibition. So somewhat confirmatory from previous studies that had gone 3, 6, 9, and now 12, yeah. but there was yet a very unique aspect uh, with regard to your study and a second component. Tell us about that. Yeah, We were really interested in the pharmacogenetics of clopidogrel, and um, it seems that there's a key gene, the CYP2C19 gene, and there's a variant within that gene uh, called STAR2, which reduces the response to clopidogrel. Um, the STAR2 variant's quite variable in the population. It's in different frequencies and different ethnic groups and uh, I find that quite interesting. Yeah. Very good. So we, we've thought about uh, you know variability in response to clopidogrel, whether it was absorption or metabolism, but now you're suggesting that we have a, a genetic component potentially to that. Yeah, it's a genetic component affecting liver uh, biotransformation. There's a problem with absorption as well, so there's multiple bottlenecks, but I think the liver is one of the key points. And this is something that uh, the audience and readers in the future are going to need to get uh, their arms around better and better. How many polymorphisms currently have been found, and do you think there's more out there, or are they all identified? I think there's a, probably about four or five. Uh, there's three in that gene that I can speak of. Um, there are probably more, and I think it's going to be a combination of those polymorphisms that's going to be important. Okay. So if we did someday get an assay that we were able to discern different polymorphisms, do you think this will realistically have an impact on practice, or what should be one of the takeaway messages for the viewers? I'd like to think that it might. I mean, perhaps uh, testing people ahead of time might determine which drug people get. Um, interestingly, prazagrel is not so dependent on that gene, so potentially in the future we'd be looking at a personalized approach, looking at one drug or the other based on polymorphisms. So two quick questions. What percentage of our population might be affected or might have a polymorphism that would be different from the rest of the population, have a different metabolism? And then where next? Is there something else you're going to do? Uh, I think about 5% of the population would probably be at risk in terms of their genetic polymorphisms. Um, but it's only part of the story. There's lots of other factors. And phenotypic testing using platelet function analysis may be the way to go. I'm not really sure yet. Um, and I'd like to go further with that ethnic variants that I was mentioning before, sure. looking into that. Terrific. Well, thanks very much for your time and look forward to future work from your group. Thanks very much, David. Thanks. Have a question or comment about a CBN story? Send us an email at cbnfeedback at acc.org.